Next tonight, only weeks into 2019, and gang violence has already been making headlines, particularly after the murder of Jaden Moody, who was stabbed to death in London. He was just 14 years old. His family say that he was not involved in any gang. But his death and other attacks has raised the question over what are the key causes of violent crime and what needs to be done to tackle the problem in the UK. Well, the problem with gangs, according to one journalist, is down to a lack of black father figures in young black boys' lives. And some support that view. One of them is Dr Tony Sewell. Now, he has worked in the justice system and supports some young people from deprived backgrounds. He joins me now, along with Marvin Harrison, who has been trying to change the missing black father narrative with the podcast Dope Black Dads. Um, good evening to you both. Good evening, good evening. And Dr. Dr. Tony, I'm going to start with you because you you were quoted in this article. In fact, the, the journalist who wrote it said it's after talking to you he came to the conclusion that actually it's because of absent black dads, which is why we're seeing the issues we are seeing with young black men turning to, to gang life and gang crime. Yeah, I mean, the evidence for me saying this hasn't just come from nowhere. I mean, in my kind of role in the New Justice Board, I... I don't know why people haven't done this before. Just talk to some of those young men involved in 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 in, in those is, those issues. And uh, I mean, I was really honest with them when I went round there. Obviously, it wasn't uh, exhaustive research, but it was enough to tell me that 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 this was a case that the the, the father not being there or the crisis when the father. Um, hasn't been there at all and trying to find that father became a kind of um, burden on them. And actually, in a sense, really was the, the key issue was, that's been unresolved. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, just, just talking about this now, I can't remember a TV program or anything that's really discussed this. We have ducked this issue. And we've ducked this issue because of a couple of things. We politically don't want to go there. And one of the reasons why we don't want to go there is the, the, the sort of the sacredness of the single mother. And it's an, almost a sense that what we're doing is we're trying to beat up the single mum if we ever if, if we ever reach there. And I actually think that what those boys are saying is that, look, okay. if I don't have at home somebody to police me, somebody to restrain okay. that strong arm and the mums are not doing that enough, okay. Okay. then we have an issue. OK, but Marvin, what, what did you think? Your, your dad, your son, yeah. what did you think reading that article and, um, and blaming black men, yeah. black dads, for playing a role in, in the gang crime we're seeing in, in the UK? I, I think it's hugely simplified uh, and it's quite a narrow perspective in terms of uh, the reasoning why. I think there's a, a myriad of reasons why these things happen. I think I read your article in The Spectator and I think ultimately you removed some of the elements that they would have given uh, alternatively and then you've come up with this um, solution. So for me, it, it's, it's not necessarily um, uh, uh, incorrect, but it's definitely not the only factor. I think it's important you look at the wider factors. I think within our group, uh, we have sort of uh, 98 dads. We're based in London, actually, the UK. Um, they talk about wider things that affected them as individuals being, uh, uh, as well as their, their parenting outlook. And so I think we need to be a bit more wiser and kinder in terms of the language that we use and the headlines that we create around this subject, because it's not helpful to the wider discussion. We're already, uh, people believe that black men aren't particularly uh, of value and they have lots of uh, negative stigmas and connotations around black men. We don't need to add a new one, especially if it's simplifying an actual true experience. So I think you need to speak to dads who are people who are current dads, also speak speaking to children who, have, who haven't had their parents around as to what affected. I came from a single parent home. My mother raised me. I didn't fall foul of any of those things. But at the same time, I know others that did who had two parents at home. So it's a huge simplification. I mean, Do Dr Tony, the, the, the issue I think that, that Marvin's bringing up and all the reason why people can take, can take issue with the comments you're making, the focus on absent black dads, is that it just throws a very negative rhetoric and, and continues a negative conversation on black men who could potentially argue that actually, you know, in society, in life, they have things quite tough and there are positive things that they are doing to support families that they're not all absent. Yeah, but what you've got to look at is, I've agreed, I'm up for the positive thing in this. I run a charity called Generating Genius. We work with young boys to help them through that, and, and that's part of what we do in the charity. But I would say that, for me, I think that unless we actually try and confront this... You see, you can't avoid this as the issue, you know what I mean? I mean, you can, you can, you can say this other, that there are other things going on, and I don't, I don't doubt, more, I don't doubt that there are. It's the simplification, I mean, it's I mean, not I mean, the... I mean, I mean, the simplification argument doesn't... Is a, is a problem with that as well, because what we do is we say it's we, we stack 
back up all these other things. But the one that is there that we're not going to and actually having the conversations about is the one that is is is, is the nerves. So I agree. In there your are other issues. In, your in, 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 in the opinion of, of, of young people, and actually, you know, in the opinion of women as well, because I think that's 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 the key issue here. That in fact, what you have is examples of super women who go out and say, "I can raise all these boys. I can do everything." But what about the larger percentage of women I take calls nearly kind of every week with mothers struggling with their teenage boys. I mean, it's a, it's a reality. So unless we, it's actually to help okay, those women. Marvin, very quickly, if you can just respond. I, 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 I don't get what, what the point is. I think ultimately what the doctor is saying is saying that he believes that his uh, charity is the solution no, for it. No, I didn't it. say that. What I'm, I'm saying is, is that I'm speaking to dads now on the ground in large mm -hmm. swathes, and what we're saying is it has, it can be a factor, but it's not okay. the factor, and that Marvin, we're actually in a, a much Marvin better Harrison, place. Marvin Harrison, Dr. Tennyson, really good discussion.